Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another video. It's been a while since I last posted, so I wanted to go ahead and make a quick one just to keep you guys up to date and not be inactive. I am on a quick errand right now and picked up something uh, from McAllister. I got a BLT sandwich. Um, I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet, so... I am super starving. I got a BLT and I also have ordered something called a Chipotle a Spud. Chipotle Spud. So that <clears throat> looks like this. Um, so it's like a baked potato, like a loaded baked potato. So let's try this. Mmm. Wow, very cheesy. So, I've been MIA for a little bit. Because, besides the freeze, sweet tea. <clears throat> Besides the freeze we just had and everybody here is still trying to um, get stable behind it. Restaurants still don't have other um, deliveries. So there's restaurants that still don't have all their um, normal menu. Like this, for example, it's supposed to be a chicken chipotle loaded uh, baked potato and uh after i placed my order they called and said hey we don't have any chicken so i tried ordering a chicken caesar salad wrap same thing there was no chicken for the wrap So, I mean, I just had to go with it. Give me a big, you know, loaded potato with bacon, lots of cheese, and then give me the chives. I forgot the sour cream. I requested it on the, um, the, um, um, what is that? <clears throat> the extra seasonings and stuff but it's okay <clears throat> so yeah the last few days the last week after the freeze what happened besides that that's gonna be another day I'll tell you about the freeze but I've been dealing me and my family have been dealing with a very scary situation so <clears throat> last summer we had just moved into this new place and um I mean, I don't like it, but it's um, the 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 areas here are all we're all full at that time, so we had to pretty much do a contract with a specific place that was not of our best choice, but but it you know it was gonna do it it was gonna do it for the moment. So maybe three months after moving into the place. We started having some strange things happening around the apartment. I don't mean ghosts. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. Wow. 
let me show y'all. We got the avocado, the bacon, the lettuce. Oh, it just fell apart, you guys. Oh, look at this. But, um, mm. So, I was asleep like maybe, I went to bed about 9 o'clock. Around 1.30 a.m., I get woken up by a knock. A very light knock, but they stayed knocking for a long time. And it woke me up. Mind you, I listened to um, white noise in the background. when I go to sleep, so sometimes some things I can't hear. Well, I could hear the knocking. It woke me up from my sleep. I look at the time, it's like 1.38. I'm thinking, can't be my husband, but I text him. I'm like, hey, are you at the door? He replies, no, I'm still in New Mexico. I haven't even started um, working yet. Someone's knocking at the door. And I'm guessing it's someone that's lost or can't find the apartment that they're looking for. So I didn't mind it. I didn't even bother going to the door. I just let them knock. Another day went by. And then the following night, I didn't have any issues. Third night, my husband's still gone. The knocking happens around 2 in the morning. I'm thinking, woke me up from my sleep. I'm thinking, this is just too strange, too odd, you know? And um, I text my husband again. I'm knocking again. I never got up. One thing I have, so I'm not expecting you. If you haven't called me to tell me you're coming through, I don't do well with unannounced visits. You know, I'm the type of person that I like to be a good host. So if you're coming through, I like to know. So I can prepare for you, you know? So I figured I'm not expecting anyone. Why am I gonna get up from my bed and go check the door? I let it, I let it go, right? My husband got back from work, maybe that's the following day in the daytime. No knocking happened. He's probably home for four days. No knocking happened. My husband leaves on another job back to New Mexico. Knocking started at 12.30 at night. Now I'm getting suspicious. Who the hell is knocking on my door every other night or any time my husband's not home? You know, that's like the most strangest part about the whole thing. So, I was thinking, you know, <clears throat> maybe, maybe they aren't lost. Maybe. Maybe they do want me to open this door. But then I said, that's just too weird. It's never happened to me. It's just too weird. But I noticed the trend. Anytime I was home alone, the knocking will happen. So I call the cops.
I called a non-emergent number. I told him, hey, there's this person who keeps knocking on my door, usually between 12.30, 3 in the morning. There's been times when they knock once that I don't go open. I don't even check at the people to see who it is. Because, you know, you guys, it's not safe, especially if you're not like, expecting someone to come to the door. Maybe if you're able to, like, ha have a window that you can have access to view the door from a distance, then, yeah. But I don't have that kind of layout in my place, so I have to go to the door. So, I told them that it got to a point where they will not. And they will come back and knock again. They will wait like an hour and then try again, you know? So I started thinking, maybe these people target people that are vulnerable, like elderly, or I don't know, people that are home alone, that know maybe their spouse isn't home or they live by themselves, or that know that, you know, vulnerable people now i'm not saying i'm vulnerable that i don't know how to take care of myself but whoever this person is they think that because my husband's not home i'm gonna be caught half asleep and open the door and now guess what i welcomed the trouble into my house so 911 dispatcher you know send um courtesy officer to do a patrol of the perimeter they didn't find anybody but this now started happening every other night I said okay let me see if I can get a, a alarm camera or something outside my door you know most places where you're renting they have a policy of no uh, drilling on the structure. You can't put like satellite, you know, mounted on certain structures or things of that nature. So I pretty much couldn't put the ring <clears throat> camera mounted on my wall outside of my door. So I waited and I decided to do, you know, those uh, homemade security systems. What is the homemade security system? My security system consisted of, obviously, I got guns at home. I got swords at home. I got all kinds of stuff that I keep as a hobby, collectible, and I just, you know, I like weapons. I go shoot at the range sometimes. So, besides that, I made a homemade... <laughs> A homemade uh, <clears throat> security system and it was a uh, pen and paper and tape a note smile you're on camera plastered that on my wall front door problem fixed the guy stopped or the person or it stopped coming behind that note so i'm just glad that the harassing has stopped the winter came no problem no problem we're good the freeze happened just like a week and a half ago <clears throat> and um as soon as the ice thawed out like a little bit that person started coming again this time we got to see who it was there's a person dressed in all black and um He's tall. He wears a face mask and a hoodie that's pretty long where it covers the rest of his face. 
obviously this person's trying to <clears throat> conceal and just you know keep us from seeing his face So that alarmed me even more. It's not that you have the wrong apartment number. Whatever infatuation you got, you've had it since last year and you've been trying to enter this dwelling since last year. <clears throat> right now, our household, we don't feel safe, you know? Um, I'm constantly having to wait up at night, waiting to see if he's gonna come and knock my door um you know i'm just i'm on the second floor so um you know if somebody really wants to get in i guess they could get a ladder but then they risk being seen you know so i don't i hope that, that it doesn't happen but you know i'm constantly going through scenarios in my head what if this was to happen what if that was to happen so i'm no longer sleeping at night well you know this is my house this is my family and i'm most of the time by myself and even if I wasn't, but still my whole family is there. You're coming to my place of safety where I should feel safe. <clears throat> and now you've caused for me not to feel safe in my dwelling and my in my household. But when I come, you know, to my vehicle, when I walk to my vehicle, I feel like you probably live here. You're probably watching me. And I don't know what it is that you want, but you know, they got human trafficking. The border's not too far from here. I don't think you want to break into my place because you knock when you know that I'm home by myself. So, this is a very anxious situation. Like, I'm anxious about all this. This is a very, like, terrifying situation because I feel, you know, we're being targeted right now and I hope that it can get fixed soon. I ordered the, the ring. So what happened was there's this company that sells a housing system for the ring where it doesn't have to be drilled onto the wall. And um, you can mount it in this housing and then slide it onto your door. So it's like a clamp that goes on your door, like a clamp, right? On one side, the ring is, is, is like in the slot. And then on the other side, you close your door and pretty much prevents from anyone stealing the the camera system or having you to drill into the wall. So I ordered that through Amazon. But it's going to take a few days. And I have Prime, but for some reason, this item couldn't be um, Prime delivered. So I've literally had to wait a week and a half for it. And... um. I'm still waiting for it. It says March 5th. The ring already came in. I bought the chime. But the problem is this. This is why I would like this camera out there besides, you know, knowing when you're coming to my door and preparing for it. But the fact that I don't have a facial description of this individual right now, therefore I can't do a police report. The cops, you know, if they get called out and they do see several individuals walking out in the yard, um, the patio you know they they run into the whole risk of profiling people or you know um, somebody being upset you know I can't just uh, assume of what they look like because if that officer again pulls up you, you you begin to have problems you know about the individual that's getting stopped in question because they might feel targeted um, or um, discriminated even you know so the guy's like, hey, you know, the officer said, we really want like a picture of this person or if, if you could get a video so we'll know what we're looking for. So okay, last night, last night, the guy came. He came to my home and I think as he was coming up the steps, maybe he lost a step. I don't know, but it sounds like he stumbled on his way up the stairs. So I heard like a... Um, like bones like you know when like you're about to fall and like i guess his back hit the wall i don't know but i can hear like bones making contact with the wall which prompted me to hurry to the people 
and see what the hell the sound was. I think the guy, because he was so loud, got discouraged from actually walking all the way to my door and started to walk back down. So on his way back down, I felt like, I mean, because again, I told you, he knocks with like an object, like a metal object. So I don't know what he's using to knock on the door, which makes me believe that he might have a weapon, right? On his way down, I felt he's vulnerable. I can see maybe, you know, take this moment, this slight chance I have to maybe see a face. So I locked the door immediately and I opened and I didn't expose my whole body. I just poked my head out and he turns around. He turned around, but you know that fight flight that we have whenever we're like under stress or in a... Uh, anxious situation of escaping or whatever like your adrenaline is going he didn't move like that you guys he moved like he was drugged he like slow motion turned around and looked back because remember he's going down the steps and when he turned around i seen this part of his face he had a mask on and his hoodie but when he turned the hoodie lifted and I got to see this part of his face, okay? That's still not enough for me to do a report because I don't have a full, you know, hairline and the face and all those small details that help a description like a tattoo or, you know, mustache and hair color. I just know his ethnicity. That's it. But he saw me. I saw him. We made eye contact, okay? Okay. And since he was leaving, I didn't want to lead him on to an argument. I didn't want to lead him on to <clears throat> wanting to know what I was up to. Like, what is my plan as far as my mind, my state of mind? You know what I'm saying? So I didn't say nothing, but I just gave him the look. Okay? And he looked at me like, oh, shit, I messed up, you know? So... This either will let him know that now I'm aware of my door and now I'm home and I've opened the door or I don't know where his state of mind is behind me and him making eye contact. But, you know, I guess time will tell. Hopefully my camera comes in soon. And any time that he's knocking now, I've been asked by the um, police officer that responded to dial 911 instead of the non-emergent number because to me the non-emergent number you know a 911 call to me is more of a fire or you know a, a real emergency knocking i just need a courtesy officer to come through you know because i again i don't know who y'all are looking for you know but in this case since it's been happening so much he says you know sounds like it's just something that you're you're being targeted your family's being targeted you need to dial 911 now. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens tonight. 